Yeah, so this is a, a Z490 Dark from EVGA. Um, first thing, cut off the power. Disconnect everything here. It. Make sure that the monitor and everything is set up. And then I'm going to give the system a boot. So this here is the uh, manual for the Auras, and this is the clear CMOS. Uh, you can see this is where you have to actually short the two pins. As the BIOS, it looks like this was the BIOS that is on there right now, which is one of the older BIOSes. Um, F7C is the newest, so I'm going to go ahead and download this one. Okay, so after starting up the computer, I had a little bit of an issue with the memory not um, showing up or, or uh, the, the computer starting up. Um, so what I ended up realizing is that the BIOS is an older version, so I'm going to need to update the BIOS. But before I did that, just to be able to uh, start the computer and make sure that the memory sticks actually register, um, I turned off uh, the computer, made sure that it was powered off, right? And then I had to find the clear CMOS. And the clear CMOS for this motherboard is right there. So there's two pins right there. And then what you do is you just kind of bridge the two pins. Let's see if I can get focus and do this. Just like this. With the power turned off. And then what, what happens is that that just touching it just like that um, makes it oh, this is terrible. Probably take a picture and show it along with the video but uh, but right there you can kind of see says clear CMOS and then the two pins right there these two right here and then if you bridge these that'll clear your CMOS so that way when you start uh, it'll tell you that the uh, BIOS was reset okay looks like the uh, memory is at 4800. Um, this is where you get the new profiles for the uh, G Skill Samsung memory kits. Um, this 
is the kit that I have. Um, to give this a try to see if that will load. So let's just go ahead and do that. Save. And see if we boot up. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, just kind of looping and it doesn't look like it's auto training memory. So XMP does not kind of run right off the, the start. Looks like um, I had problems starting. Let me uh, try this, see if that will even load. Loaded. Give this just want to try again. Huh. Okay, so it loaded this time. Laughs and giggles. Um, try the next one. I have a sense that um, you need to maybe start with something low for the auto train to first kick off um, and then be able to kind of figure things out. So let me, uh, let's give this one a try, see if this will load. See that we're at 6,000 um, megahertz. Interesting. We're going to try to go to 6200. Huh, that is cool. Um, you know what? Let's try the last one. Looks like um, SK Hynix and Samsung memory can go up to that. If this works, I think I can probably some manual settings. I'm gonna have to tinker and see if I can get above even 6400. Let's see. Huh. All right. Looks like I can run um, this memory. Uh, 400 megahertz above. Let me, um, let me install Windows and see what happens from here. And then uh, I'll probably run a mem test to see if uh, there's any problems with this.